inheritance allows a class to acquire the members of another class. In this example, square will inherit from rectangle. This is specified after the class name by using a colon followed by the public keyword and the name of the class to inherit from. Rectangle then becomes a base class of square, which in turn becomes a derived class of rectangle. In addition to its own members, square gains all accessible members in rectangle, except for its constructors and destructor. An object can be upcast to its base class, because it contains everything that the base class contains. An upcast is performed by assigning the object to either a reference, or a pointer of its base class type. When using rectangles interface the square object will be viewed as a rectangle, so only rectangles members can be accessed. A derived class can be used anywhere a base class is expected. For example, a square object can be passed as an argument to a function that expects a rectangle object. The derived object will then implicitly be upcast to its base type. A rectangle reference that points to a square object can be downcast back to a square object. This downcast has to be made explicit, since downcasting an actual rectangle to a square is not allowed. C++ allows a derived class to inherit from more than one base class. This is called multiple inheritance, and the base classes are specified in a comma-separated list. Multiple inheritance is not commonly used, since most real-world relationships can be better described by single inheritance. It also tends to significantly increase the complexity of the code.